You see those yellow flags, the ones with the lion on them? Well, those aren't just the flags of Flanders, the tiny northern half of tiny Belgium. They're the symbol of how the Flemish speakers, so long suppressed by the south, finally came out on top. And for many, they stand for the eventual separation of Flanders from the rest of Belgium. Because the Ronde van Flandre is, has always been, a political symbol, the symbol of a struggle for respect and self-determination. These days there's a champion beneath every lamppost in Flanders, but once there were none, until Odile de Freyer. He won, he kept winning, and he gave Flanders heart. Especially he inspired this man, Karl van Weinendale, a journalist, a bit overconfident perhaps, but a visionary. We have to thank him now for a race which, to Belgians, for a century, has been more important than the World Championship. Men like Rick van Steenbergen and Brie Schotter. Then men like Eddie Merckx, a man so powerful that Franz Verbeek could only cling to his wheel and hope the finish came before his heart gave out. Freddy Martens, that's him on the left, who was disqualified, came second, was reinstated, then disqualified again. And his later counterpart, Peter van Peterken. It's a race of Koppen and Bergen, wicked little cobbled hills on narrow roads. Men get off to push. They suffer rain driven by unhindered gales. They ride. They struggle. They dream of glory. And eventually, one man wins. All that pain, all that struggle, the battering, the exhaustion, and only one man wins. Those flags of Flanders fly, because that man has won the Tour of Flanders, the Ronden van Flandre.